Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and in today's video, I want to show you a new feature that SEMrush launched recently. It's a pretty awesome feature. Before I do that though, make sure you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there where I send out tips and tricks like this every single week. So one big topic when it comes to keyword research is about clustering keywords and basically taking a big list of keywords and organizing them into clusters so that you know which keywords can kind of be targeted on the same page um, and which pages go together. Basically, more or less building out a topic cluster or silo with a big list of, of keywords or multiple silos with a big list of keywords. And I used to always do this manually um, for years. I would take a you know list of a couple hundred keywords and sort them manually to try to decide where I wanted to target each keyword based on you know what pages I was creating. About a year and a half ago or so, somebody introduced me to Keyword Cupid, which is an awesome tool. Uh, does a, takes a lot of that process and automates it for you, which is awesome, um, worth every penny. But SEMrush just launched the same option inside their Keyword Manager. And I wanted to show it to you real quick. Uh, it's in beta right now, so they're still working on it. I was in the alpha group when we were testing it, um, but it does work pretty well. And what you do, you can either start with a couple seed keywords and let it build out a cluster for you, or you can take a list that you've built inside the keyword manager and ask it to cluster that list for you. I find that that's the way that it works best, but I'll show you both options here. So the first option is to create a list and here you would just enter, it gives you, lets you enter up to five keywords. So let's do, um, if we were gonna do about to-do lists, um, task management. Okay, so let's do those three. To-do list, task management, to-do list apps. And you select the database. I'm just gonna use the United States. Uh, you do have the option of entering in a domain to it'll pull information off of that domain. And then you hit the create a list. And from there, it will start clustering the keywords from what it takes those seed keywords you gave it, starts pulling related keywords, related topics, and clustering them for you. The other way that you can do this, and what we'll come back to this, uh, is to take a list of your own that you've built inside the keyword manager. So this is a list that I built uh, last year for a project I was working on has 291 keywords in it. And you can actually have it cluster this list for you. So it's gonna take all these keywords and it does it based on looking at the SERPs. It looks at, um, uses a couple different data points to decide which keywords belong together. So all you have to do then is take this list, go into the clusters, ask it to cluster them, and it will go to work. Now it can take a little while and the bigger your list, the longer it's gonna take. So I'll pause the video here and come back when this completes. Okay, so it finished both of those and this is the output that you end up with. It gives you these clusters. So this is the first one I did where I gave it just a couple seed keywords and let it go off on its own. It came up with 47 dif different clusters, 709 keywords. When you do it this way, um, you will get a pretty big list most of the time, but you, it may go off a little, you get some stuff that's maybe not really what you wanted to target. Like here I have a cloud-based timesheet is not really what I was looking for at all. It'll kind of pull up some of those topics that are a little more unrelated, but it still gets a lot of really good ones too. You have to-do list, daily checklist, best planner app, um, aesthetic planners, iOS apps for couples is probably not so great, but um, a lot of these will be good and it has these clustered together. So inside this one, the daily checklist, there's 30 keywords. It'll show you the average difficulty it's giving it and the total search volume. Uh, you can open this up and take a look at the individual keywords inside of that cluster. It also gives you a mind map view. If you like this, you can check it out here. It'll split everything up into a mind map. So the main cluster here is to-do list and then all these clusters under it. Um, here's to-do list apps and it has all these clusters, task management, all these clusters. Um, and you still have the table view, which just has a list of keywords. You can also export this. So I already did that. You can export it into Google Sheets um, or download it as a spreadsheet and then put it into Google Sheets is what I did. And it'll put the clusters here for you, which I like working in the spreadsheet is a lot easier for me than um, 
than, than working off of this cluster tab. So I like the spreadsheet and it'll show you here's the, the main topic and then each of these clusters under it and all the keywords that go, these could be individual pages. Um, and you may still have to do some work here. Don't just take take the tools word for granted. You're still gonna to wanna to look over these a little bit and make your own best judgment on whether or not these keywords belong with this page or if some of these could be combined into a single page instead of multiple pages. But it takes out a lot of the manual work for you, which is, I would much rather start from here than just starting with this giant list of keywords and figuring out how I'm going to organize these and cluster them myself. So it's a pretty cool tool, and I did it also for, this was the list that I had, uh, that I had made myself, and also had it spit out a uh, all the clusters. So it took that big list of 291 keywords for me, and it's organized them uh, a little better that I can start start working on planning out content and a project for, for those keywords. So again, if you're signed up at SEMrush, you should see this in, it says Keyword Manager Beta. You should see it in there. Um, you can also take a look for yourself. They have a sample list here. If you just want to see the output without building something yourself, um, they did one around pizza and they have um, a whole bunch of clusters in here. It's 35 clusters with 694 keywords. You can also choose different options for sorting these. Right now it's sorting by high volume, low difficulty, but I could also do uh, just high volume. I could do uh, high difficulty. Um, you can sort them alphabetical. You can sort by which clusters have the most keywords in them. So you can sort these clusters however, pretty much however you want to to sort them and, and look at the information. Again, it's an awesome tool. Just uh, launched as part of SEMrush, and they're I know still working on it and improving it. But I love this cluster tool so far, and it's probably going to uh, replace Keyword Cupid for me. Um, nothing, not that there's anything wrong with Keyword Cupid. I think it still does a great job. But I already have this here inside of. Uh, SEMrush, so um, it, it really is probably going to replace Keyword Cupid for me. All right, that's it for this video. Again, if you haven't yet, head over to the SEO Pub and sign up for the email list there, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.